Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Chota with Ignition Time and welcome to this channel. Thank you so much for being a viewer and subscriber. I'm going to give you what I consider to be encouraging news in this video. Now, I believe and I've said this for a while, I believe that this is just a, this, this stimulus package is a temporary funding package. It's intended to get us through the next few months. And I'm very confident that when President-elect Joe Biden is inaugurated, and, and by the way, the control of the Senate plays a big role in what happens next year, there is a very high probability of a second stimulus package next year. This really depends on what happens in the Senate runoff races in Georgia on the 5th of January. But in a very interesting set of developments today, Bernie Sanders said something that I think is worth mentioning. He just said it on MSNBC and Jim Cramer from CNBC also basically said, this is part one of a two part package. In fact, he said what we are about to have right now because they're still haggling with less than with less than 24 hours to go right now for a government funding deadline. He said, right now we have the good, but later we'll have the great. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the possibility of this stimulus package that we are about to see being the part one package. And then the next bigger stimulus package next year being the part two package. This package potentially being a good package and that package, the, the upcoming package, again, it depends on the control of the Senate being potentially a great package. Let's just jump right in. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. Thank you so much for being a viewer and subscriber. This channel, the Ignition Time channel, is about the country because matters that are important to the country affect our economy. I'll make all the complex news simple and easy for you to understand. And then I'll teach you how you can use this information to grow your money. I'll take, take all the complexity, take all the madness, take all the shenanigans, take all the games out of everything that's emerging from Washington and present you a simple and easy to understand digest, a daily digest digest, sometimes more than one daily digest because there's so much craziness that needs to be dissected on the Ignition Time channel. Thank you so much. Let's just jump right in. On your screen, you'll see a tweet from Jeff Stein from the Washington Post. And Jeff reported that Bernie Sanders just told MSNBC that adding $600 stimulus checks cost $150 billion, which by the way, uh, if we did the $1,200 stimulus check like we did in the first version of the CARES Act, that would be $300 billion. He said state and local aid being removed essentially frees up $160 billion because that's something that's going to be discussed down the road. So he said adding the checks should not come out of unemployment aid. Why are we, why are we cutting back on unemployment aid? Very, very good point. Very big point from Bernie Sanders. Why is it that the $300 a week unemployment aid, which by the way, I'm, it should have been $600, but it's $300. That's, that's sort of the benchmark right now. It was originally going to be 16 weeks. They cut it down all the way down to 10 weeks. They've cut it down all the way to 10 weeks. He said that should not have to come out of the unemployment benefits because we already did away with state and local aid. In fact, he pointed out that the increase in money for businesses, meaning small businesses, the Paycheck Protection Program in the bill is the problem. And by the way, we know that, you know, the funding of the businesses is an important part of the Republican agenda. And the Democrats essentially want more money to go to the people, especially individuals like Bernie Sanders. Well, he's an independent from Vermont, but the Democrats want more stimulus checks. Not to mention Josh Hawley, the Republican from Missouri, who basically asked the president to veto the stimulus package two weeks ago when the president was returning from Georgia on Air Force One. So could we see some sort of an agreement where you have both stimulus checks and full unemployment benefits? Now, when I say full within the framework of this bill, that's going to be $300 a week for 16 weeks. But right now it looks like it's going to be $300 a week for 10 weeks to make way for the $600 stimulus checks. And Bernie Sanders is saying, hey, why are we doing that? Let's show you the tweet again from Jeff Stein. Bernie Sanders is saying, hey, we did away with state and local aid. So why, why do we have to make, why, why do we have to chip into unemployment benefits to make way for the stimulus checks? In fact, why are we giving so much money to businesses? Fascinating comments from the one and only Bernie Sanders. Now, shifting gears to another interesting character, a colorful character, Jim Cramer from CNBC. Cramer, listen, Cramer made some heartfelt comments today on CNBC and said, how many people have to be laid off before, before Congress, you know, gets a move on? People have been waiting for a long time for the stimulus. He's absolutely right. And wait till you hear the next segment. I want you to watch this video all the way through to the end because some fascinating comments are coming up from Cramer in the second segment. But first, let's take a look at his frustration at how long this is taking. And also, also, 
He does, I think he does an excellent job talking about individuals who are like, oh, we're going to travel and other individuals who now they get the stimulus check are able to buy soup. Yes, yes. These are the two different versions of reality. These are the two economic realities. This is the inequality in our country, the United States of America. Before I show you this, I want you to know that my name is Dr. Nitin Shoda. For me, it's not about the red or the blue. It's about the red, white and blue. I'm not Democrat. I'm not Republican. I'm American. Let's roll the tape and see what Jim Cramer from CNBC had to say today about the, the status of the stimulus negotiations and why it's taking so long. Let's watch. You brought up a bunch of negatives. I think the biggest negative we have to talk about is the, these claims. Uh, they're so high that you have to believe that one, Jay Powell knew when he spoke yesterday, and two, maybe it lights a fire under those people in Congress who are still jab jabbering. I mean, come on. How many people have to be laid off, David, before they say, you know what, we better move on this? I know. Not to mention those numbers, I think, on people falling into poverty yesterday or what is at least described as that. We're talking about millions and millions of people. We talk about it every morning. Uh, the juxtaposition, of course, of the market, which is surging yet again, Jim, uh, to, to, to higher and higher sure. levels. The Nasdaq, of course, has been an incredible performer this year, but the S&P aiming for another record high you see at the bottom of the screen. You juxtapose that with the suffering that's going on in this country. And a lot of people can say, well, I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, I've had uh, spoke, spoke with Dave Calhoun last night from Bowen. And it's really interesting. Uh, this is not just a tale of two cities. I mean, you have people who have means who are going to get money from the government and have gotten money from the government and they are itching to travel. And people are starting to think right now, David, when we get vaccinated, these people will travel the world, though it's pent up demand. And then, then we have other people who for six hundred dollars that comes to them. I mean, they're looking they're saying, OK, I, soup, uh, maybe Christmas, maybe a Christmas turkey. Yes, David, I'm talking about Bob Cratchit. So we've got the Cratchits and then we got the Scrooges. The Scrooges don't mean to be Scrooge, but they don't know what else to be. In the second segment, Jim Cramer says something that's even more interesting. He says, this is part one stimulus of a two-part stimulus. The next stimulus is something we'll see when President-elect Joe Biden uh, is inaugurated as president. He says, if this is good, that's going to be great. Pretty interesting comments. Let me know if you agree that there's going to be, this is going to be part one of a two-part package. Remember, this isn't even a stimulus package. It's an economic relief package. It's a rescue package. And many senators have pretty much said that. In fact, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has acknowledged, he has acknowledged that the new administration will want more. Let's roll the tape and see what Jim Cramer had to say from CNBC. Let's watch. Uh, I know. And it's hard not to. Yeah, it's it, right. Um, that said, Jim, if we do get the 900 billion, let's call it that, uh, even though it won't include, of course, uh, aid to state uh, and local governments, uh, and it does get out fairly soon, is that seen as a positive, again, for what we end up talking about a great deal for the economy uh, and for the stock market, broadly speaking, as well. I think that it's going to be part one. I think that when President-elect Biden gets in, it will be part two. So I believe that what's happening is people are saying, wait, we're going to get the 900 billion, but that's already in the market. But it's a second order, a second dollop that is targeted. In the market, no. Uh, I've got Brian Moynihan on tonight uh, from Bank of America, and he's talking about targeted stimulus and how great it would be. This one's not targeted. This is just, I believe, good. The next one could be great for the people who really need it. So uh, if we do get the second one, David, we haven't gone up enough. There's more room. And that's how I'm approaching it. That's it, everybody. Let me know what you think about Jim Cramer's comments and Bernie Sanders' comments. Whether you think this is part one of a two-part stimulus, let me know in the comment section below. You'll also get a link to all of our resources in the description section below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I really appreciate you watching. If you don't know anything about me, please check out my video. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like, and why you should listen to me. This channel, the Ignition Time channel, is about the country. It's about the economy. And it's about your money. We cover important matters that are relevant to the country that in turn affect the economy, that in turn affect your money. So please make sure you click subscribe, you enable notifications, just gently ignite that subscribe button. The name of our channel is Ignition Time. Don't forget to click the like button as well. Now we release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. That's 2 p.m. 
if you can get your cell phone out, send a text message with the word ignition or with the word time to 70,000, that's 70000, you'll get added to SMS alerts list. We'll send you important announcements that will help you plan better with your money. We'll send you important announcements that will help you make more money, save more money, invest more money. We'll also send you announcements if we ever release programs where you can essentially get coaching from us. Now, you can opt out of these SMSs at any time. You can also get on our email list. Uh, to get on our email list, simply go to ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts. That's ignitiontime.com forward slash alerts and you can get added to our email list. And again, you can opt out of the emails at any point in time that you want as well. Sometimes YouTube does not always send out notifications on time. So all you have to do is simply bookmark youtube.com forward slash ignition time that's youtube.com forward slash ignition time once you do that you'll be able to visit the home page of our channel and watch any of our videos at any point in time that you want so you're not dependent on notifications from YouTube. Also, you can get added to, you can become a part of our Instagram community. Simply go to instagram.com forward slash ignition underscore time. That's instagram.com forward slash ignition underscore time. You can become a part of our community on Instagram and get exclusive news on Instagram, exclusive content on Instagram. Speaking of exclusive news, you can get breaking news and alerts from us on Twitter. Yes, on Twitter. All you have to do is simply follow us on Twitter at ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time and you'll get breaking news and alerts from us on Twitter as well. Become a part of our Twitter community. Speaking of community, please comment below. I'm very proud of our community because our community is growing rapidly. It's bipartisan. It's an intelligent community. We support each other. We learn from each other. We engage in healthy debates, even if we agree. I think it's great if we disagree, as long as we can be, we can participate in a healthy and respectful discourse, which is what our community is all about. So I'm welcoming you to join our community. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. Like I said, also, you'll always find a link to all of our resources in the description section below so you can dig deeper into the content. If you learn something new from this video, please share this video with friends and family. That would mean a lot to me. That tells a YouTube algorithm that you found the content beneficial. That really does help the YouTube algorithm. I mean, you're on YouTube, you're getting content. Hopefully, you find the medium valuable. Hopefully, you find this content valuable. Once again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda. Thank you so much. Please gently click that like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.